Hey guys, what is up? So I know I've been away from this series for a while. It's been like one and a half months since I uploaded uh, videos in this particular series. This is the Web3 introduction course. And the reason is that uh, videos which don't involve coding, right? They are difficult for me to make because uh, like coding is very, it comes very naturally because that's what I do uh, in the day. So it's very, uh, it doesn't require me to switch my perspective completely, right? To something else. But videos that required me to talk and explain things like this, they required me to kind of mentally shift to another place so that I'm able to explain this to you. Now, um, having said that, uh, the reason why I'm making these videos is because it will then make it very easy for you to code along with me in, in Web3 projects. Now, uh, I've personally built projects on the Solana blockchain and using Hyperledger, using Substrate on the Ethereum blockchain. And I want to show you all these things. Uh, but what's stopping me from showing it that is that uh, I want you guys to have the understanding of why you're building what you're building and what Web3 is before you actually start building those things, right? So we, we talked about blockchains uh, and how they work in the previous video. And then we also talked a little bit about some of the consensus algorithms, right? At least proof of work. We talked about it. We didn't like discuss it in detail. And I want to discuss it in detail. But before you, before we talk about that, today's video, in today's video, we just want to talk about something called as nodes and master nodes. And once you understand these properly, you'll understand the core essence of blockchains. And you'll also understand, uh, you'll also have like the basic knowledge that's required to go further in uh, to understand all these different uh, consensus al algorithms and, and mechanisms, okay? So, uh, the blockchain, right? So we, we create blocks, you've seen the whole chain, but the blockchain is also stored in multiple different nodes. So all of these things you see, right? This whole network that you see are basically nodes. The reason you do that is because you don't want to have a centralized copy, copy of the entire blockchain in one place. And if the server goes down, then the, everything gets uh, deleted, right? So what you want to do is, uh, so, so we started with centralized uh, software long back, then we started moving to distributed software. Now we are in decentralized software. That's this is what blockchain is all about. So decentralized software basically means that everybody has a copy of the entire blockchain, all the all the nodes out here. So these uh, independent things that you see here are, are nodes basically, and they all communicate with each other to decide what is the next block that gets to be added into the blockchain. So blockchain is basically a chain of blocks. That's all, and uh, all of them need to reach to a consensus. They all need to agree that this is the next block that will come to the blockchain. And then that entire blockchain with the new uh, block added will then again be copied to all of the nodes in the entire blockchain, okay, entire network. So it's a network of blockchains. So that's why it's called blockchain P2P network. So you, you don't see blockchains in isolation ever. Uh, you, you might, I mean, but the use cases are very low. Uh, what, you, what you will see uh, very often is our blockchains, which have a complete P2P network where uh, a lot of nodes have the complete copy of the blockchain. Now, there are many benefits of having a complete copy of the blockchain, but let's first talk about Node, right? So Node, uh, there's a lot of mystery around what are nodes. Now, nodes are just independent servers which have the complete copy of the blockchain. That is it. There is no secret around here, uh, but uh, Node has to be a very powerful server. Uh, you can set up your own node for any of the blockchains, like, uh, you know, like the popular blockchains, you can set up, set up your own node, but you need to ensure that you have a really good internet connection, you have a really good processing power in the node, and then you have to download the software to become a node, and then you can easily become a node, okay? So I will show you how to do that also uh, for, for a couple of uh, the blockchains. But if you've heard about Get, uh, which is Go for Ethereum, it's a complete node that you can set up in your local environment, Get. So I'll, I'll show you that also how to do that. So it's basically an independent server that, that has a complete copy of the blockchain, and the, the reason why you would want to have the complete copy of the blockchain is because you'd want to validate what is the next block that gets added to the blockchain. You want to have, and, and once it's added, you would, you'll broadcast those transactions to the entire network. So you see the entire network here of, of multiple nodes, and you will basically broadcast this to all of the other nodes that, hey, this block has been verified and we all have come to a consensus that this is the new block to be added. So please copy this new blockchain. Uh, so that's basically what the, what the node does. So node is, uh, you know, like a, one part of 
the, the the entire blockchain network. Now the thing the why you need, uh, require nodes is nodes are very central to distributed and decentralized software because even if one node goes down, there are hundreds of other nodes that can still keep functioning uh, the blockchain. So the blockchain is never really deleted, right? The data is never really deleted. So that's why you hear terms like uh, uncensorable websites or uncensorable like the data that that never gets deleted. It's permanently there, right? Permanent uh, like perma data and all of that stuff. So that's happening because uh, the copies of that data are, are across uh, multiple nodes. It's very similar to BitTorrent, very similar to that. It's just a, it's just a more refined version of BitTorrent. You can think that uh, BitTorrent just used to store information as files. Here you're just storing it in blockchain. And uh, we had like multiple peers where you can download file from multiple different people instead of just one person, right? So very similar concept, but uh, it's just a little more advanced because you now have the blockchain. Uh, okay, so master nodes. Master nodes are like nodes, but you will hear this term being thrown around a lot and this leads to a lot of confusion. So master nodes uh, do all the things that a node does, which is having the complete copy of the blockchain and it, they also validate and preserve the blockchain and broadcast the transactions, but they also manage voting events. Master nodes are like much bigger nodes. They manage voting events, they provide protocol execution and they enforce the rules of the respective blockchain, okay? Uh, now, the, the reason why somebody can become from a node to a master node is, is uh, one reason could be that they have a lot more stake in the, uh, in, in the complete network in the sense they have, they're holding much more coins. So for example, much more Ethereum or much more Avalanche or whatever, they're holding much more of that coin. That's why they can become a master node and they get, a, they get more say in the entire network. So even though it's decentralized, but some of the uh, nodes, they have a little more power over the other nodes. Uh, if they're the master node, okay? So, and, and this really helps with the um, exec execution, uh, with the, with the what do you call it, uh, with taking the blockchain forward. And we'll, we'll discuss a lot about that. Now this is, uh, some people, they say that even in a decentralized network, why are you centralizing the power in some places? But this is not really centralizing the power, this is just giving it a little more weightage, that's all. It's not, it's not centralizing the power to a master node, okay? Please make sure you understand that. So this was basically about nodes and master nodes, and I want to now, uh, in the next video, I want to jump into proof of work, and I want to explain that to you, uh, but I wanted to explain this to you so that you have complete idea before you understand any of these consensus algorithms, otherwise they'll get very confusing for you guys. Okay, th thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.